Hi, this is Matt at AppWorks, and today I'm going to be talking about a field validation issue uh, and a default behavior in FileMaker Pro 17 and 18 that can sometimes be a problem for your users. So specifically, here's what I'm talking about. Uh, in the default setting for the primary key, there's two checkboxes checked, not empty and unique value. And on the four fields for creation and modification, there's one box checked, which is uh, not empty. And that requires that those values be present. Otherwise, you cannot work with a record in the table. Here's how it would work normally. If you just go in and make a record, I added those fields to my layout so we can see them. Um, I see a primary key gets generated, and I get creation and modification information. And I can go in and type whatever I want, like um, whatever kind of data that I want in the thing. And also, I can uh, create related data, right? When, um, put a phone number in, and everything works fine. OK, the problem comes in if you import data. So if I import something, and I've got a little sample file here. In this sample file, I have primary key data. So I'm going to uncheck this box that's normally checked by default to do auto enter options. Um, because I'm going to use the primary key that I have and not have FileMaker enter a brand new primary key. That's because I want to use my primary key to relate to other related data that I'm going to be importing later, which is a very common thing to do. OK. That means that the creation timestamp information does not get set because I don't have that imported uh, from my source. I'll point out briefly that FileMaker Pro 18 Dialog, uh, the import dialog box actually does have this problem solved, so there's a way to do that in here, wh which we're not going to talk about right now. Um, but it actually does have that feature to, to solve this, but it's more detailed. OK, if I import my data, my three records come in, and I get no errors skipped because of any kind of a problem. But if I wanted to work with this first record and make a simple change, like change Mr. to Professor, FileMaker will not let me do it because Created by is, is defined to require a value. I must enter a value. No problem. I can go to created by and put a value in, right? No, because it's also a not modifiable field. So basically, the default behavior creates a problem for a user that the user can't get out of except by force quitting FileMaker or by knowing that they could revert the record, in which case they still can't even work with their record. So here is my recommendation, and here's how to fix this. If you go back to Manage Database, and you click on your primary key field, uncheck these two. Also, uncheck this box for not empty on all four of these fields. And then let's see if that makes a difference. OK, so now if I go in, uh, it no longer requires that created by has a value. So I'm going to change this from Mr. to Professor. And it will let me make the change. So it, mod it puts my name as the modifier, but it doesn't put a creator. And it's never going to have a creator. So that's one bit of data that I'm not going to know. But when you import data, that's what you get. Sometimes there's bits of data that you just don't know. Uh, and I'll also be able to make related records no problem for this one. Um, right? I can put related data in. OK. Um, the second thing that can happen, if I go back to um, company here, is this record has no primary key. So even though I imported it and I thought there was a key in my import file, there actually is not a key. So a missing primary key will actually prevent me from making related data. So if I try to put a phone number in here, um, it's going to tell me I can't because there is no primary key. Um, there's not really a fix for this. Uh, I will point out that when I imported this data, it didn't give me an error that there was no primary key. It just didn't work uh, when, once I actually started working with the data. So one way around this, by the way, is to actually just duplicate this record. Um, so I can just go to record and say duplicate. That will make a new record with all the same data, but it assigns a primary key. And then I can go to my original record and then just delete it. That's kind of what I do sometimes. Um, so if some subset just doesn't have a key, you can kind of add it after the fact. And then on my duplicate copy of the record, I can do things like add a phone number. So in summary, the Fields tab in Manage Database, um, and this also happens when you make a brand new um, table, the checkbox under the validation for not empty and unique 
really don't serve much purpose, and I recommend you just uncheck them for most situations. Thanks for your time.